Today I'm gonna show you how to create original shirt designs with this creative thinking skill and then a Photoshop process of how I bring it to life. So hopefully after this video, you can incorporate it into your own work. Let's go. Yo, 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 what is good guys? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Designs. Hope you're doing well this weekend. Now I'm just gonna jump straight into part one of this video which covers creative thinking skill. Now I know some of you aren't just gonna skip this part because there's a lot of talking but I promise you if you stick until the end you will definitely benefit from it. Okay so there are lots of ways you can get inspirations right but here's one way that I do quite frequently which can result in original concept. So the actual inspiration for today's design is this image I found from Pinterest and as you can see it's a photo of a Marlboro cigarette pack with french fries in it it's an interesting concept because it's surrealism obviously it's supposed to be cigarettes inside a cigarette pack instead of blatantly just copy this concept like some people would do why not just swap it around so let's swap the fries to cigarettes and then the cigarette pack to french fries box and there you go we now have a more original concept already basically what you do is just swap the elements around if you practice thinking this way not only you end up with a more original concepts but over time it will actually help you to become more creative i've made a mood board for you guys to try and practice this skill check the link below you can even further explore the concept personally i like to add a bit of violence in my design so instead of cigarettes i'm gonna put bullets to convey that sense of violence visually now the concept is there, let's start creating the design. So guys, what I'm gonna do now is just crop this fries box out from the background using the pen tool. I won't bore you guys with the process, so talk to you guys in a bit. Now that it's done, I'm gonna get rid of that thumb by copying another layer of the fries and then reflect it horizontally and then using the mask layer to just brush out the thumb. I know some of you are gonna say that it's lazy because it's mirrored but to me, as long as it gets the job done, why not? So guys, now I'm gonna crop these bullets out from this stock photo. Again, it's a pretty standard process by just using the pen tool to trace the outline of the object that you want and then using the select the mask tool to clean up the edges and you're good to go. I kind of regret that I didn't spend more time picking on the right stock photo because now it's quite a hassle to crop these bullets out individually because I'll be arranging them um, in their own way. Also I get a feeling that it won't look good with the fries box now that they're together but uh, fingers crossed hopefully after some color and composition tuning it'll turn out good.
So guys, that bullet stock photo didn't work out. I am quite disappointed. To be honest, I legit spent like 45 minutes straight trying to get it to look good. Even after some really heavy color correction and all that, it still turned out bad. So I thought about editing that part out from this video, but I guess it's better to show you guys that even I make mistakes sometimes. It's not always a win. So it doesn't set this unrealistic standard where I always create my designs perfectly on the first try. So yeah, anyway, now I'm using this 3D bullet assets. It's way easier now that I don't have to crop anything. It already comes with transparent background. If you're wondering where I got it, it's from Envato Elements, which is today's monster. Vato Elements is the ultimate toolbox for us graphic designers. Offering more than 50 million assets, you can get pretty much everything you need for your projects, such as this, 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 and even this. I've been using Vato Elements for almost two years now, and it's proven to improve my designs than before. You can simply go to the search bar, type in what you need, and you can sort the results based on orientation or even by colors. My favorite from the site is the 3D Assets Library. For someone like me who don't use any 3D software, this really helps my workflow. And what's even better is you can get the angle you like and then download it as PNG file with already transparent background. With Envato Elements, you get unlimited downloads with only one subscription. So click the link below now to get 50% off on annual subscription subscription giving you full access for just $16.50 per month. Now let's get back to the video. Now I'm tracing the outline of this bullet stock photo because I like the edges to be softer but that's just my preference. Um, then I'll just drag it into the working file. There we go. I made the mistake last time with the bullet placement as well where I kind of placed them just like the fries inside the box. I thought it would cover the fries better and make them look more natural but sadly it didn't work out. For this time I'm just gonna spread them out like the shape of the box as long as it covers the fries and it looks good. Coming along really well guys, now I'm adding some shadows to the bullets individually to compose them better. This next part will cover the composition of the design where I fine tune the colors, shadows, brightness and everything to make them all blend well together.
so guys as you can see the composition process is now done i also did this thing where the shadow of the design is highlighted in this blue color i think it looks good it kind of adds this neon look to it but i'm still not 100 sure i'll probably get rid of it but for now i'm gonna work on the text again no planning here for it so you'll see me struggle a bit decided to just go with the basic sensory font i tried that gothic font earlier and it looked out of place this is the best one so far then i'll just add some subtext at the bottom and then get rid of that highlighted blue in the shadow of the design and then show you guys the final result that is all for today hope you learned something new from this video i'll be uploading another video later this week so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out follow me on tiktok for more behind the scenes see you on the next one